I don't know why they saved the racks up here. You can't even, unless you're doing static bits, which y'all, if y'all watch long enough, y'all gonna see me do. But if they were doing regular bits, they couldn't because they couldn't touch their chest. But sorry, I sound this way. I just woke up. Um, enemy been attacking a little bit, but we already know how that going how that going end. So. But today was one of them days where I just wanted to stay in bed. Alarm went off. I ain't hear it till um he repeated it so. <clears throat> so and then I just laid there for about ten minutes. If I went back to sleep, it would have been over. But I got up and I I only know what I did. And I now it's about before about to be four o'clock. So we're gonna try to be in and out. Real quick, we just hopefully we can because remember rep ranges are no longer five because we were stuck at two sixty five and we're not gonna plateau. So we gonna today probably do two seventy for three. I haven't eaten anything. All I had was a sip of water. I got some holes in my mouth right now, but we're gonna go ahead and knock out two seventy. I said last week that we were going to probably stick at 265 for three as well, but y'all know me. Y'all know how, every, how, how I be, so we're going to go ahead and knock out 270 for three, three sets of three, four sets of three, five sets of three. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. I've been focusing on other things right now. Um, I'm writing a program for somebody else where I had to come in here yesterday and record um, a demonstration video. So. That was interesting. Now, I know when I get to a certain point, I'm gonna have to re-record all those videos. I think I had the gym logo in the background, which I won't, I'm not gonna do whenever I actually have my database on my website. <clears throat> but I had to find um, somewhere to record. I think there's a studio, uh, gym type studio where you can record somewhere here in Florence or where you can do personal training, something like that, I don't know. We don't see. But like I said, we're gonna get straight into it. I ain't wanna talk too much just because of certain, the availability of certain things of the time on my phone. So we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Uh, uh, and don't do like I do, cause I need warm up y'all. That's why I just need to search your ass. Yeah, so I just moved him. <coughs> so I ain't even really warmed up. All right, so we got 270 on the bar. Honestly, 225 felt. We, we gonna, we're not going to get into every time 225 felt, because y'all already know every time 225 don't move the way I feel like it should move. And then we end up getting what we were supposed to get. So, But I was struggling. I was trying to figure out how do I get 270, because I didn't want to jump to 275. And I was like, 210's next up. And then boom, if I don't put two tiers, it's 25. But completely forgetting about the two and a halves. And so I was like, well, how do I get 270? Like, I don't I have no idea how to get 270. Then I realized, oh, put two and a halves on there, and then I get two, 270. And that way I had to jump out of 275. So um next week we're gonna jump to 275. I already see this boom moving the way it's supposed to move. Get these for the quick three reps. Boom, boom, boom. Get these for the quick three reps. We're gonna see. Honestly, just so, just for progression purposes, I don't think I'm. And this and this is kind of analyzing back into what I should be doing. Like if you paid attention, if you realize, um, I was progressing consistently when I had dumbbell bench in in the um program, 
And so that honestly could be the reason why I'm not progressing the way I feel like I should. I'm not stimulating my chest enough to be able to uh, cause growth to happen. So that honestly may be what it is. So I may have to add dumbbell bench in or another exercise so that I can stimulate my chest the way it needs to. I know we're trying to focus on power more so, but instead of doing the jammer, I can either push it back later into the workout or into the program, or I can just replace it all together and put a dumbbell bench in there. Because honestly, dumbbell bench, I think, was causing enough stimulus so that I could get growth the way or progress the way on bench the way I need to. Like every week it was five pounds. Every week it was five pounds. Every week it was five pounds. Then I got to 260. I feel like I missed it. The next week, boom, we're back on it. But these are things you got to analyze as a trainer. Okay, what changed? Why am I not progressing the way that I'm supposed to? I feel like I'm supposed to progress. Honestly, this just, like, it just hit me. I just realized this again. Like, like before, it was like, why am I not progressing? I couldn't figure it out. And I realized maybe it's because dumbbell bench isn't, I'm not stimulating my chest enough. So I may, if 270 don't move, what it's supposed to move, I may just next week just go ahead and recycle dumbbell bench and put it back in the program. So I'm not just 270 out for three. I think it's going to be five sets of three. But at least three sets of three. Super set it with man ball been over chest press. To it. All right. So I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, three felt good. Um, honestly, 225 felt harder than three did. So I honestly think I may add them a bench back into it just because anyway. But just the thing is, I thought about this: what kind of trainer do I want to be? And I think about this in regards to leadership. What kind of leader do you want to be? Do you want to be the leader where those upon you can never progress, that can never surpass you? Or do you want to be the leader that gives people the keys to the knowledge that you have and they're willing to, they're, they're able to apply it and continue to grow and continue to progress? You're not their ceiling. They have no ceiling. Like you are their floor. Like take Jesus, for example. He didn't tell his disciples, hey, Y'all going to just do what I did or y'all going to do a little bit less than I was able to do. No, you say a greater works you're going to be able to do. And so that's the kind of leader I want to be. I want to be the kind of leader where those who follow me, my subscribers, my clients, they're able to receive enough knowledge to the point where they surpass me and do greater things than I, than I have. Like, I'm not one of those who I, I, I do like to compete a little bit. So like take my sister, for example, me training her. I know she's, I know at some point in time, and honestly, now she's kind of there already. Just because my squat ain't hitting the way my squat supposed to be hitting. <laughs> but I know she's going to surpass me in regards to strength. And it's not because, and, and honestly, I started to feel a little type of way about it, but just because I love my sister so much, I can't feel no type of way about it. But I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy for her, the fact that she's going to, in my opinion, be the greatest pilot to ever walk this earth. Female or male, I don't, I, like I was what she sent me something yesterday. Um, I forgot old buddy name. It might have been Rondell. Something boy had a six hundred dot total, and I was like, "That's crazy!" Like stuff like that makes me want to get into powerlifting, but it, it caused me to set a new goal for her. like before, like on a dots perspective from a dots perspective, I was trying to get her to five fifty, five seventy, but once I saw that six hundred, I was like. Let's go to not at 600. Let's go, let's go to get at 600. And so I don't know what, what that those numbers would end up being. I know 550 at her current weight would just be her adding 100 pounds to every lift. And 570 would be her losing 20 pounds and 
adding 100 pounds every lift. So it's it's just amazing to me that she's been able to progress the way she's supposed to progress. And we talk all the time about things that can and cannot work for her program. Like she's helping me just as much as I'm helping her. But I want her, I, and I told her, so I, I started to buy this book and I told her she might as well go and buy this book too because I, I promise you at some point in time she's going to end up being a trainer. <laughs> Um, whether it be a powerlifting trainer, the regular trainer, I don't know. She done lost 100 pounds. She can tap into that world too. But I want those who I give knowledge to to be better than I am, than I was. Now, I'm, gonna stop, I'm still talking about trash. So I'm going to twist it. I'm going to still talk about trash and God work with me about the way I talk too. But I want, I'm, I'm kind of shifting my perspective to the point where like, I want those people to be better than me. I want you to be better than me. And, every aspect i'm trying to give you all the keys all the keys that i got everything that god has given me i'm trying to give it to you so don't don't be one of those people as a leader where you're like <clears throat> oh shoot they're getting close they're getting close i, I ain't want to get too close so i'm gonna sabotage them no don't sabotage them shoot help them help them be better like your ceiling is not their ceiling and shoot i don't i don't have a ceiling and so just because somebody passed me in strength or somebody is a better trainer than me, we, we all can win. That's the way the, the kingdom of God works. We all can win. It's not, oh, if, if you win, I'm losing. And like I was talking to somebody, and I'm, I'm about to go to knock this out, but I was talking to um, somebody else in regards to um, somebody being jealous of, jealous of a trainer. And I'm like, shoot, if you operate in the gift that God has called you to, shoot, everybody can win. There is no loss in the kingdom of heaven. Or in the kingdom of God, like you win, I win. They, they took they eight billion people in this world. Yeah, we in the same city, but and what's that supposed to mean? They so many people in this city. Like Florence is a big like Florence is a big city in comparison to where I came from. So we 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 all can win. Like don't don't be that person that's sabotaging people just so you can stay on top. No, like. I'm going to give you all the keys. So let me go to not this second set out. <coughs> I don't know why my pants keep coming down. Uh, so I ain't, ain't going to talk y'all head off. I got some more stuff I can say, but I'm going to try to add it in as I get to it. I don't even know if I'm, I'm probably cutting my head off, but I'm going to kind of add it in as I get to it. But go to rest a little bit. Y'all saw me get stuck on the third rep a little bit. But honestly, it's, it's three reps isn't, isn't heavy. Three reps isn't heavy. And honestly, next week, I may keep it at three reps and add in dumbbell bench anyway. And we'll we'll go from there, but we may adjust the circuit a little bit just so I can get my jammers in. Otherwise, it's gonna be the same thing almost. But we can go ahead and take a quick little break, and I sh anyway, I'll I'll play up thirty seconds. So, honestly, the way in regards to the way the bar, the weight moved, we could stop at three, but ain't no point, you feel me? So, I'm going to go and knock out five sets, even though I need to go. I'm going to go ahead and set up for my next superset just so I don't, just so I can go ahead and get in and get out. I'm not trying to stay until five o'clock or if five o'clock comes, I need to be out of the door. So, go ahead and get this set up. Now I get back to y'all the four set. <laughs>
And I debated whether I was going to show y'all this, but it's set for. So I'm saying I don't want the clip to get too long. I know I'm not going to record too much of the rest. So I might so record one set of push press and jammers and then one set of the circuit. And then next week will be something different in regards to this program. I think I'm going to add dumbbell bench in just so I can get into the stimulus. And that kind of shines some light also on am I doing enough to create growth? Am I doing enough to create growth? So I got to analyze certain things, see am I progressing in certain areas to create enough stimulus to be able to push in regards to myself and in regards to my clients, push um, the weight up each and every week. If I'm not progressing, then maybe I'm not creating enough stimulus. <laughs> or I, mean to, or I need, might need to do something else to create enough stimulus. So, so I'm going like this. I said, I ain't want to talk too much. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention, which is it's it's not it's not a forgot to mention because honestly I was at the start I was trying to say should I mention this, but I'm going to mention it because my wife watches some of my videos sometimes and she makes it at this point. I just want her to know that I love her. So um today is my anniversary. I know a lot of y'all might not care or might not want to hear this message, but for my wife, I just want to and I'm gonna tell you this. I'm I'm gonna tell you this, uh in person too and i'm gonna write a little note with it too but i just want you to know i love you i appreciate you um i thank you for everything you've caused me to go through everything you've pushed me to be um you every day you're pushing me to be a better man spiritually be a better father be a better individual like even in regards to cleaning certain things up like don't even necessarily tie into me being a father but it ties into me being disciplined and being consistent in everything I do. So I just want to thank you for that. And just want you to know I love you and I appreciate the two beautiful little girls you done brought into my life. So <clears throat> anybody that's out there, I want them to know, baby, that I love you and I want you to I can't I can't wait to spend the next what it is, ninety ninety plus years. Not, only thing is ninety. Eighty something. Ninety? 90 some years. Like, I want to set a record for longest marriage ever. So, but that's enough talking. I'm going to knock this last set out of five. <clears throat> We're going to get into our next couple of sets. Mm. All right. Honestly, the reason why I'm doing five sets so I can still get at 15, those reps, those 15 reps, even though they're coming in different packages. <sighs> All right, these are going to be the best looking ones right now. <clears throat> All right, so my song was just on uh, Down by Jay Sean. And no, I don't listen to, like, you know how, for those who stop listening to secular music, they know how when the song comes on, like, the, mem the, the words are still there. And that's one of the songs back when I was in middle school that I memorized. I memorized it, Down by Jay Sean. And so now, whenever it comes on, I know all the words, literally. about. Uh, I might miss about two words in the whole song, literally two. And it came on and I was like, oh, this is my jam, this is my song. But, you know, I'm working on, with all that being said, I'm working on not even singing those songs. <laughs> like, I, like, it's taking up space in my mind. And so I want to put that with something spiritual, with something that 
helps me be better. Not, and I know you ain't got to be as, as Christian as I am or as spiritual as I am, but just that's just something I want to do where those songs I no longer have memory of and I can just get into I, that, the space that that is holding and be filled with something that's going to progress me. Like, honestly, that song doesn't hinder me, but it's causing me growth. Are there certain friendships you have? No, they don't hinder you, but are they causing you to progress? So, you know, that's another topic. So, not this up. <clears throat> All right, so Hammer Jam, we're still on 205. I started to take the weight up. I couldn't, you know, I forgot what my camera. But I started to take the weight up, but I was like, huh. I should have though, because it's maybe the last time. If I can't find out how I'm putting into the program without adding too much time onto my workout, I'm gonna have to take these up. So I think this is how it was last time. So now we're here. Make sure we explode through the hips and see now on forward. <clears throat> So this is the second set. I'm gonna set after this. Like I said, I'm not showing every single set just because I don't want this video to get extra long. I already talked enough. And so I'm gonna keep it at showing one first set and then we'll close it out how we usually do. All right, so it's a mess. Three sets is our last set, y'all. We're gonna. So we still on the same super set. Battle ropes, bottom up presses and decline push off. So we'll go ahead and get these out the way. I'm gonna show y'all the real. The real, that's why I got it on me. Honestly, I'm gonna take this weight up next week. I think I might have a deload after that. I don't know. We'll see. But I've been in 26 for the last three weeks, so I'm gonna take it up 30 or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 